this video is all about you being able to control your fear or you being able to overcome your fears of women and just understand where the fear comes from and you and starting to trust yourself <clears throat> starting to trust yourself with the things that you're currently not trusting with, yourself with and a lot of what i've learned in this this year <clears throat> this year to just come along is just learning how to trust myself and learning that the present moment is really where everything exists and just understanding that when I'm not in the present moment, that's when I'm in fear. So overcoming your fears of women. How did this come to me? How did this come to me, this whole thing of like fear? Now, a lot of people say that fear is, you know, future uh, evidence appearing uh, real or something like that. And they say it's all these other things. So this is just my take on what fear is. And the way I came to this is I was laying in the bed one night and I woke up. And as I woke up, it was about four, it was about two something a.m. And I was laying there for a while and I was just, I don't know why, I just started getting this insight of what is fear? What is fear really? And as I'm starting to get this insight, I started to come to fear is really not trusting the present moment. That's all fear is to me. And I started to realize that any time that we trust the present moment, fear doesn't exist. But any time we don't uh, trust the present moment, fear always exists. So I started to see that every single time I'm fully connected to the moment with the woman, every single time I'm in front of her and I'm fully there with her, it's allowing myself to just speak the truth of how I am, who I am, what I feel. She can feel me in the moment because I'm speaking purely from the truth of who I am. I'm completely present because as I say in my other videos, is that truth grounds you in the present moment. So I'm there speaking to her in a truthful way, you know, that way that's, you know, me owning myself, owning who I am and my desires. I'm completely just here and now with her. And it's the times where we're not in the present moment where we start to feel fear. It's the times where we're in front of the front of the woman and we're just questioning everything. So if I had to really break down fear, I would say fear is really just being outside the present moment. That's all it is. It really is that only. And the more that you can learn to live in the present moment, the more that fear will dissipate. The more that you learn for the present, you learn for the present moment to become your new known instead of your unknown, then it will become different to you. Then you'll start to trust yourself more. A lot of guys, they don't trust the present moment. That's what it is. They don't trust the present moment because they, never, they haven't been living in the present moment their whole life. So what they've come to trust is their mind. They come to trust uh, uh, them questioning themselves because they're like, this feels more comfortable because when I question myself, I've come up with answers logically. And when I'm logically coming up with answers, then I can do what's you know, good for the present moment logically. And I tell them like, bro, you will never ever be able to come up with the answer logically because it's, it's a present moment answer that can't be answered in a logical way. And I started to notice this in myself. I'm like, why is it that I am always uh, fearing um, something? Why am I always like, oh my God, I'm questioning this, I'm questioning that. And what it really comes from is just me not living in this moment now and me just fully grasping what's happening in this moment. And any time that I am uh, grasping what's ever happening in this moment, everything changes. Everything with me and a woman changes completely. So. As I'm there with the girl and I'm completely grabbed in this moment and everything is changing, I start to notice that, oh my God, the present moment is where I should live more. And of course, in doing meditation, I start to notice that nothingness feels amazing. Just being in front of a woman and completely being nothingness in front of her feels amazing because you're not cluttered on the inside. Guys are always f afraid of doing things in front of girls or afraid of... Uh, making her mad or afraid of hurting her feelings or afraid of, you know, them, the girl perceiving them in a bad way because only because they have a lot of clutter on the inside, which is fear. They just have all these things that pull them out of the present moment. But the moment they can start to just be completely connected to the present moment, that's when everything will shift and change. And as you're in the present moment and you're like, all right, all right, Tony, now I'm in the present moment. But now I'm starting to freak out because this girl is looking at me like this and I feel like, fuck, I need to say something. And I go, why do you feel like you need to say something? They're like, well, if I don't say something, it's weird. And I go, well, if you do say something, um, you're not benefiting her or you. 
Because if you're saying something, you're saying it out of reaction, you're not saying it from a clear place. You're saying it completely out of reaction to what the girl's giving you in the moment. So being able to just learn all, everything you need to learn, really, with women, you're going to learn it in the present moment. You're not going to learn it ever through trying to be in front of her and logically trying to figure things out because you will not be with her, first of all, in the moment. And the second thing is, is you won't be able to come up with the things that the present moment offers you. The present moment offers you so many jewels that the mind can never come up with. Because then when you're in a moment, as I always say, your heart, is, your heart is present, your whole body is present, and the girl is just filling you fully. So anytime you're out of the present moment, the girl is just feeling like you're this thing in front of her that's just trying to get something from her. You're this thing in front of her just not really there with her. And a girl can feel this. She's so intuitive to when a man is there with her fully and when he's not. A man is like kind of there. He's kind of like, oh, so... And you, she can see the tension in his body. She can see the tension in his, in his face. Tension actually manifests. And you start to look around. This is, this is a manifestation of tension on the inside, nervousness. And she can see that and she goes, he's not really here with me. But when a man is just really there like, hi. She's like, hello. What are you up to? And he's just really just there with her. Now, that may have been strange. You guys like, did Tony stop talking? No. I'm just fully there with the girl that I don't need to try to rush. I don't need to try to rush. I don't have to go into the fear that want to pull me, in, pull me out of the moment. That is a choice. You have a choice point every single moment when you're in front of the girl to be in the moment or to not be in the moment. And, yeah, the beauty is that you can start meditating in front of a girl. This is how you stay in the moment. You can become aware of your breath when you're in front of a girl. Because you'll start to notice all your patterns that start to come up. And as you're there and with her in the moment, you allow yourself to really just completely let yourself go. And this is the beautiful thing. You start to let go in the moment. Because as you notice that it's just, I'm just trying to get pulled out of the present moment and I'm pulling myself back in. I'm trying to get pulled out and I'm pulling myself back in. Then you start to build the strength of when I'm under pressure, when I'm in a moment where I don't know what to do and, I, and I'm fucking freaking out, I can learn how to stay here and now. That is the good thing you're learning. You're learning how to, when you're freaking out, stay here and now. Feel the freak out, but stay here and now. That's what you want. You don't want to avoid the feelings. Because the moment you start avoiding it, you come out of the present moment, and now you're in fear. Now you're like in the present, or you're in the past. You're like, holy fuck, I remember the last time I did this, a girl walked off, I better say something. And you're like, oh my God, uh, is this gonna go somewhere? Uh, am I gonna fuck up? And that's when you're in the future. But allow yourself to come back into the now. Your breath always senses you. So the present moment literally is where fear doesn't exist. Fear can only exist outside the present moment. So that means that you have to start trusting the present moment more than, not, than, than your thoughts, more than uh, the things that arise inside of you, the sensations. You have to trust the present moment will give you what you need. You have to trust that right now I'm in this moment with her and what do I want to do? What do I want to do? And this is where men start to question their desires. They're only questioning their desires because they're not used to staying in the present moment with their desire. They're like, I feel a desire. Should I do this? And that questioning always pulls you out of the present moment. You have something that's present inside of you. Whether you see a girl and you're like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. But then you look away and you're like, oh no, I probably shouldn't do it. She's, she's in a rush. No, 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 no. You're, in the, you're, you're, you're already like trying to put onto her something. Maybe she's in a rush. You're in the future. You are. You're trying to put onto her that she's in the future and you don't even know. You're like, maybe she's in a rush. Maybe she this. Maybe she's that. My thing to you is this. If you're always doing that, if you're always trying to answer everything before you know, how would you ever learn? You will never learn trying to go, she's probably doing that. Oh, this probably wouldn't work. I remember last time I did that. She wouldn't like it. Or you're in a moment with her and you're like, oh my God, it's silence. This is, this is scary. This is freaky. Uh, this is awkward. And you never just trusted silence. You never trusted just sitting there with a woman and just not saying anything. You've never trusted that. You've always trusted your, and your horrible thoughts. You've always trusted the part of yourself that's lower than what you're, uh, what you're worthy of. You've always trusted that. But I challenge you to trust something different. Trust the present moment. I know the present moment is very, very scary because it is the unknown for you. As men or as people, we are so used to living not in the present moment that the present moment is the unknown. We're so used to living in the known, which is our mind. That is the known that you live used to living in. But I challenge you to start living in the unknown. 
I'm speaking so low right now because I know that everybody sleep. This is a town where everybody's fucking sleep. So I'm speaking really low. And the moment I start speaking loud, they, the police getting called on me. So for me to finish this video, I need to speak like this. And I'm shaking because I'm fucking cold and it's 5 a.m. and I'm about to fucking lake. So, but I'm going to keep rolling. Trust the present moment. Trust this shit, man. Trust it. Because you know the reason why I say it so much is because I know when you start trusting the present moment, everything starts to shift. Your whole fucking life starts to shift. And that's what started to happen to me is that when I, when I start trusting the present moment, when I start going, oh, you know what? I'd rather engage in the moment right now and what's going to spontaneously come up inside of me than trying to engage in my thought when I'm in front of a girl. I'm going to trust right now that I want to get to know this girl. I'm not going to question that. Why am I questioning the part of myself that knows that I want to get to know her? I feel in this moment I want to get to know her, but I'm like, maybe this is the wrong time. And that questioning always pulls you out of the present moment and you, you're not there anymore. Or maybe you walk up to a girl and you say hello and the way her energy is just flowing from her, it moves you in a way where you're like, oh my God, you start to feel turned on and you start to feel sexual desire immediately and you don't even know why. You're like, I feel it so quick. Why? I feel sexual desire so quick and I don't even know why. Show it. This is the part now where you have to take a leap of faith. Start showing the things you're afraid of. Start showing this shit. Really own it, man. Own the fact that you want to get to know her. Own that. Own the fact that when you see her, you love the way she looks today. Own that. The moment that you move out of the present moment, literally, the moment you move out of the present moment, you see the girl, and you go, oh, she probably is like, she's doing her work right now. I probably shouldn't bother her. That moment that you move out of the present moment, and you don't, you don't just allow that, that situation to seduce you into knowing, okay, she's a mommy, she might be doing work, but it's more of a benefit for her to meet me than do her work. It really is, because if she meet me, her life is going to change in some way. She's going to have an adventure that she didn't previously have before this moment. Or maybe she had it, but it wasn't like the one she's going to have with me. So you, you, you don't allow the situation to, to seduce you. You, become, you look at the situation and then you become afraid of it because you're like, you stop trusting that this situation will give you what you need if you just flow with your desire and go do it. So now we got to move into trust what you feel is what you want and act. Now this is the leap of faith part. I had to start doing this with myself. I had to start going, okay, you know what? I like this girl and I need to go talk to her. I know that she is in a situation that's very strange, but I need to go speak to this woman. I need to. I, if I don't, I'll regret it. And I start doing it in all kinds of situations. Situation where she would be in the store and there'd be all, all kinds of people around. I remember being afraid, walking into stores, like, oh my God, fuck. Everybody's watching me, standing there sweating while I'm talking to the girl. But it, it, it gave me so much insight. The insight that it gave me was just, when you see a situation, and you feel something for it and you're over or you're in a situation with a woman and you feel something you have to stop questioning it you have to stop going into self-judgment you have to stop going into questioning the part of yourself that you know is true and that's there if you question it you're going against your fucking birthright you're going against the part of yourself that that intuitively knows what you want you are moving through life and you have a part of yourself that intuitively knows what you want. That is the reason why you're watching this video. Because you know when you see a woman, intuitively, or a part of yourself wants to go meet that woman. You want to go meet her. That is why you're watching this video. That is a part of yourself that if you ever question that, you start trusting the questioning more than you trust the desire. That's what happens. You start trusting the thing more than you trust yourself. And what a lot of this journey is, is just you learning how to trust yourself again. That's literally what this journey is about. You learning how to trust your desires, trust your intuition, trust a part of yourself that knows in this moment I shouldn't do this, knows in this moment that I should do this. Start to trust yourself more. And this is what this whole video really is about, is trusting yourself more. And who are you? You are this moment. That's the beautiful, most beautiful thing because you're not a set personality. You have so many different things that that flow and pop through you based on certain situations and the more that you can learn to be in the present moment you're like i don't know who i am i know i'm this moment right now i know right now that i'm expressing this to you guys and i know right now that i don't know who i am right now i don't i know i'm a person that's expressing something i know that and that's all that i need to know I trust myself so much more now than I ever trusted myself. And it only gets stronger and stronger and stronger because I understand that the more I trust myself, the more I just learn that I can be, I'm okay being in this body. I am okay being inside of me. 
A lot of guys get so used to trusting their mind that they're not okay with who they are. Learn to start trusting your desires as they pop up. Learn to start trusting the part of yourself that wants to express something. Learn to start just trusting the part of yourself that wants to live in a certain way, that wants to go after what they want. Learn to start trusting that. That will bring you everything you ever want. But the moment that you, that every single time you trust your mind more than you trust your heart, every single time you trust, you're questioning more than you trust your heart. More, every single time you trust something different than who you are this moment, you will always bring fucking pain in your life. You will always bring pain to yourself because you're always going through this thing of, oh man, I, I want to do this thing, but uh, should I do it? And, that, uh, uh, and don't get me wrong. It's not like a breeze. I'm not going to tell you it's like a breeze. No, it's not. But I can tell you that I do have something right now that can help you. What can help you is this. Whatever you're afraid of, whatever you're afraid of in seduction, whatever you're afraid of, honestly, or as a man, if you want to take it deeper, whatever you're afraid of as a man for real, I challenge you to set up situations. This is, this is a challenge for you. Set up situations where you can face that. If you're afraid of you uh, getting blown off for a girl, by a girl, Go into a situation where getting blown off is highly possible. Go into a situation where getting blown off is highly possible. And what do I mean? Go into high, high risk, a high risk situation, really. Or, or if, of course, if you've never approached before, that would be very difficult for you. But if you're afraid, let's say you never approached before. If you're afraid of a girl uh, blowing you off or you're afraid of a rejection, I challenge you to go into situations and try to get rejected. Just try to get rejected. Just go into a situation and face the thing you're afraid of. And as you, and as you face it and a girl says no or a girl goes, ah, oh, this is weird and she walks off or she gives you anything besides good uh, behavior uh, towards what you're doing, I challenge you to stand there in the moment and just feel all of it fully. Feel what it really feels like for you to really be there and feel everything. Feel what it feels like because you're afraid and you're scared, man. This is the thing that's hurting you is that you're just afraid of the thing that's inside of you that's stopping you from um, doing what you want to do. You're afraid of that thing. And until you face it, you'll never be free. Like I said in my other video, to the extent that you accept fear will be to the extent that you'll be free. So set up situations realistically. Set up situations that you're afraid of. If you're afraid of uh, talking to a girl in a coffee shop, literally if you're afraid of that, Make it a mission that you're going to go talk to five girls in, um, in a coffee shop or five coffee shops, whatever it may be, and see what happens. Face the thing that you're actually afraid of because once you start facing it, it's not, this is not what's going to happen. What's not going to happen is that each time you do it and you know that, and let's say the girl blows you off, you go, oh yeah, that's just told me that, yeah, now I'm a person that uh, completely is true about when I said that girls actually don't like me who are walking with their friends, they actually just don't have an interest in guys approaching them. No, that's not for, it's not for you to go and get evidence for a belief that you have. It's for you to go and become different than what you are. <clears throat> have a different focus because your focus is to face what you're afraid of. When a man is put under challenge to, to face what he's afraid of, he blossoms. This is how a man blossoms for real. A man can truly blossom when he's faced with a situation that challenges the fuck out of him, that challenges the part of himself that's just like, oh my God, I don't want to do it. That is when a man can blossom into his fullness. But you can't really blossom into your fullness, into full freedom within yourself until you really go face the thing you're afraid of. Realistically set up situations that you're afraid of. Realistically and do it. Like I was like, okay, what I, I remember, I remember when I was setting up situations, I used to go, one of the things that used to really fucking bother me and I was afraid of is getting blown off by a girl in front of guys. Oh my God, I used to scare the shit out of me. So what I started doing is that I started running in front of girls who were by guys and I just was, I was fucking furious with myself. Like you got to sit in this situation. You got to do it because if you don't do it, guess what's going to happen? You're never going to get a girl in this situation because you will always be afraid because that guy right there may say something about you. And I, I went in with the fucking like, intent. I'm like, man, like, I got to do this. And I remember feeling like, oh, my God, these guys, you know, they, they're and they snickling or stuff like that. And, you know, having guys say to me stuff like, you know, did that work? And um, did that shit really work? I remember a guy saying that. And, you know, one of the worst ones was I ran in front of this girl and she blew me off immediately. and walked around me. And it was this guy and this girl sitting down and it was just quiet. And I was just stood there for a moment. 
breathing and I felt like a fucking champ because I'm like, man, I fucking did the thing. But that's what it is. I set up situations for myself because I knew that if I set up situations, I could face the thing I'm afraid of. I was afraid of facing the thing of my dad may never, ever become the dad that he was when, when I was younger. He may never go back to being that. His schizophrenia may never do that. How did I face it? I, start, I walked up to him and I asked him one time about his medication. He didn't know what I was talking about and I was fucking afraid. I remember when I was, you know, this year, earlier this year, I was laying down in bed with my woman and I, I woke up crying and I went into the hills and I started crying. I told her I won't see her for a few days. And I was like, I gotta face the thing I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of letting part, this part go. I need to let it go. So it's everything from you who you are as a person to going in front of situations with women or just being in front of women and let's say you're afraid of silence set up situations where you walk in front of women and you're and you're silent longer than than what's what's needed and be silent and let her walk off see what happens when you're really silent in front of a girl does she invest what what happens because you'll start to get insights and realizations for your own self that's what you want you want realizations from what you do specifically you that's what it is. And once you can start to do that, everything starts to change. Start to trust the moment more than you trust your fear. Start to trust the moment more than you trust your mind. And you'll start to get insights about who you are. I'm still doing it, and I'll constantly teach you guys. This is Tony Solo from Natural Lifestyles. I am fucking cold, and I've been shaking. <laughs> I love you guys, and um, I see you when I see you.